Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the William Lowell Putnam Mathematical Competition 2008 problem A1. Let f uh, go from r squared into r be a function satisfying this functional equation f of yz plus f of, f of zx plus f of xy equals zero for all real numbers x, y and z. We wish to demonstrate that there is a function g from the set of real numbers into itself satisfying f of x, y equals g of x minus g of y for all the real numbers x and y. So it's a very simple problem. Here are my hints. First, set x, y and z to be the same to find f of x, x. Then set z to be x to express f of y, x in terms of f of x, y. So we can change uh, the arguments. And finally, set z to be zero, for example, or any other number. And consider, and consider g of x which equals f of x zero, and that should lead you to the solution. So give this problem a try. Right. So, as I said last, let's set first set x, y, and z to be equal. Notice that then we have the following: we have three times f of x x equals zero, which of course means that for every real number x, f of x x equals zero. Let's remember that. Now let's set, let's set for example, x to be equal z, then, then we have the following, f of yz, but y can be written as uh, x, uh, z can be written as x, plus f of zx, but zx is xx, plus f of xy, well f of xy is f of xy, <laughs> right? And notice that by our fact, f of xx, this part right here is zero, so we have the following for every two real numbers x and y, f of y x is minus f x y. So our function is anti-symmetric. Wow, no, well, well, very well. And finally, let's set z to be zero. Well, then if z is zero, we have the following f of y z, so f of y 0 plus f of y z z x plus f of x y equals 0. Notice that we have we can do the following the following trick. We can write f of x y uh, as minus f of 0 x minus f of y 0 and now minus f of 0 x this can be replaced by f of x 0 by our previous result so f of x y equals f of x 0 minus f of y 0 and now it should be visible that it suffices to define this to be g of x and then this is g of y so let g of x be equal f of x, 0, then, then, of course, for every two real numbers x and y, which are real, f of x, y equals g of x minus g of y. And that closes our proof. So yes, very nice problem. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.